Kuski YouTube, it's your boy Mono Malcolm checking back in. Apologies for the radio silence. I'm actually in the middle of packing right now because I'm moving soon. I'm not anywhere crazy, just literally down the street into a nicer place. And uh, I've been working on a bunch of IG content lately. If you're not following me, I'm not sure why you're not, but hit me up at Mind and Malcolm. You can find me over there and see what I've been doing. And if you have been following me, then you know that me and one of my good friends actually released a capsule collection recently, I would call it, which involves this shirt right here, actually, um, as well as this mug. All of the proceeds we get from the shirt and the mug actually go to Black Lives Matter Canada, as well as the Center for Young Black Professionals. And if you're watching this, there's a good chance that some of these are still available. I'm gonna leave the link in the bio below. We're in a super, super weird time right now. Like I see a lot of people acting like there's no quarantine. I'm staying inside because there is a quarantine. Um, but with that being said, both of those people are definitely online shopping. So I want to bring you a video um, going over what I think are the best 10 sneakers you can get for under $150 right now. Before we get into number 10, just want to quickly remind you to smash that like button with your pinky finger uh, if you enjoy the video and share and sub like you've been doing already. Honestly, you guys have been showing me much love and I appreciate it. So just keep doing what you're doing. But for number 10, we have something that you may never heard of before. It is the Adidas Night Jogger. And specifically the white colorway because it's summertime. Adidas is having a crazy sale right now for members. So all that means is you gotta create an account and you get 30% off site wide. This shoe is a great shoe in terms of entry level to get into boost technology if you don't wanna break the bank and get ultra boost. This shoe right now is going for $120 one on sale and the shipping is super fast and there's a bunch of colors. At number nine, we have a sneaker whose pictures don't do it enough justice for sure. I had a chance to see these in person when one of my good friends picked these up from the mall actually. And they come in at the whopping retail price of $110 Canadian. They're the Puma Future Riders. And I haven't worn Puma in like since grade school. So at least like 15 years. These are sick, man. From the color scheme to the red tab on the side of the heel, you can't really go wrong with these. And these will definitely be a shoe that turn a lot of heads. Coming in number eight is actually a collaboration between the giant brand Nike and the Japanese brand Undercover. They came together to create this Nike Daybreak in a super sick yellow colorway, or as it's listed, bright citron. Uh, so I guess that's like a lemon colorway. As you can tell, I like yellow more than the average person. Yellow on my shirt, yellow on that shoe up there. How do you guys feel about yellow? I know it's a kind of iffy color because it reminds you of something. I'm thinking lemons. The shoe is on steep discount. It originally retailed at 210, but it's on sale for 126 and the sizes are flying. So if you're interested, the material is super cool. It's kind of like a ruffled um, nylon material with the gray accents. Don't hesitate to pick it up. Link in the bio. For number seven, we're gonna take our talents all the way down to New Balance. Um, and with that, the specific model I'm talking about is the 574. It retails for about $110. And as you can see, I'm already a big fan. Honestly, I just use this shoe for a gym shoe because it has a nice flat bottom and it's all suede upper. So it looks nice even when it's kind of broken in. But for $110, you're not gonna find a more functional shoe. You can dress it up and you can dress it down. And you're gonna see why older folks actually invest in New Balances. You can find them in a bunch of colors. I used to have them in burgundy as well as a, a bunch of different colors, but I end up losing shoes randomly while moving and stuff like that or giving them away. I would definitely recommend it. And they're readily available at any Foot Locker or Champs or whatever mom and pop sneaker store you have in your city. At number six, coming in at a whopping $63.75, Probably the cheapest sneaker in the whole list is the Jack Purcell Twill Low Top Sneaker. And we have it in a Thunder Grey colorway by Converse. These are super sick and they're not your everyday Converse because they have the Jack Purcell twist. I think Jack Purcell was some specific individual who did a lot with Converse. I don't know, well, yeah, you can read up on it if you want. But anyways, these are fire sneakers. Um, these are definitely versatile. In terms of Converse, as always, I find they run big and most people tend to as well. So if you're going to get these, make sure to size half a size down. So you can't really go wrong with these and they're not going to be something you see every day. At number five is a shoe that I'd be very, very surprised if you're watching this video and you don't already have it in your collection already. It's the Vans Old School. It comes in at $80 Canadian before tax. And there's not much to say if you've seen most people on the streets this is a super super common shoe and there's a reason for that it's super affordable super accessible it goes with a lot of stuff and when it gets beat up it looks just as good not like super beat up not like holes or anything but some scuffs and stuff it's a skating shoe 
what else do you want from it? We'll definitely suggest it. You can find it at vans.ca, vans.com, Foot Locker, anywhere that sells shoes pretty much. For number four, we're going back to Nike with another deep discount. Originally retailing at $225 and now coming down to $123.99. That's a hundred dollars in savings. It's the Nike Air Max 270 React SE, and I would call this like the Marine Land colorway. That's probably not the official color, but that's what it reminds me of because it's light, bright, and there's a bunch of different hues of blue and green. Um, this is a 6'6 shoe, air bubble technology, so it's not as comfortable and lightweight, and definitely a smart bet in terms of summer colorways when you're wearing, if you have like shorts on and white socks with this, it's gonna pop like it's crazy. And since it is the React material, it actually has a super breathable upper, which I find is great in the summertime, especially so you don't get like super hot feet. I know some people get that, or not some people, everybody gets that, let's be real here, depending on the shoes you wear and your feet are all locked up all day. But with that mesh material, the wind's just gonna go flow right through, you feel me? It's gonna be fire. The fact that it's over $100 off and they have almost a full size run in it, goes to show that if you can pick it up, this is a steal, I would definitely recommend. For the top three, they're all white shoes. They're all from three different sneaker companies. One of the sneaker companies actually owns another, but we won't get into that. And number three, I'm gonna start with the Stan Smith. The classic white and green colorway. It retails for $110 from Adidas. Can't go wrong with these. This is like the ultimate tennis shoe. And this is truly a timeless sneaker along with the rest of them coming up. This is sweet. There's a green accent on the heel, all white upper with white laces. A bunch of different colors if you want that too. If you don't have this in your collection, you're sleeping. Coming in number two, we have another cult classic. Super, super famous in New York. If you know what I'm talking about. I'm not the biggest fan personally. I've only owned, I think about a, one pair in my life, which is the G-Dragon Paranoise colorway in black. But for this specifically, I wanna talk about the all white Air Force One uh, in the 2007 model. They retail for about 120 bucks. All white upper, all white leather, big Nike swoosh and white, triple white. It's literally like a three layered white cake with white frosting and I love cake. So with that being said, this shoe is great. I'll recommend it to anybody with this one too. Keep in mind that it does run a size big or at least half a size big. So keep that in mind when you're trying them on. And uh, if you get your regular size, it may be like boats on your feet. And drum roll please. Number one undisputed number one shoe you can get right now uh, for under $150 that I own and I have my hand right now the Reebok Club C 85 shoe retailing for 95 bucks but majority of the time you can get it on sale for like $60 Canadian all white upper green accent on the tongue minimal branding on the back of the heel this shoe is just sick and when this shoe gets beaten up like this one just a work of art, super comfortable. Honestly, probably the best bang for your buck on this list. It may not be the cheapest, but this is my most worn shoe out of all those on the list that I own. And honestly, one of my most worn shoes in my whole collection. So something to keep in mind when you're looking for shoes is that since it's summer, you may have a little bit more wear and tear on your shoes than usual. So keep that in mind when thinking about adding to your shoe collection. What shoes will you get the most use out of and what shoes do you just want to bring up for special occasions? And it's really about finding that balance. And if you made it this far, I appreciate the support thus far. And I'm seriously curious, what do you think is the best shoe that you can get right now for under 150 bucks at your local store? Let me know. I appreciate the view. If you like the video, make sure to like the video. New videos coming soon, and don't get used to this backdrop because it's actually changing sooner than you think. Catch you guys on the flip side. Stay safe, keep your mask on. Peace.